Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, September 27th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Seraphon fishing is a technique that has been around for a few years. Typically the way it's used is that an attacker is inserting text into a phishing email with a font size of zero. The usual goal of this text is to just break up the phishing text with that making it more difficult for systems that are trying to detect phishing to identify a particular email as a phish. The automatic systems won't really recognize that the font size is zero so they consider this text valid but a human user will not see this text so they'll just basically see the text that the attacker wants them to see and that That's then the phishing email. Jan today wrote up a diary that looks at a new way how zero size fonts are being used. In particular, uh, this variety of the attack appears to target common mail clients that do have essentially sort of a little preview pane where they list uh, the subject, the sender of emails, and then typically like the first line of an email. And that of course is often used by users to quickly scan through their email and well, hopefully like delete uh, some emails uh, like phishing emails before they even sort of bother to open it. In this case, the attacker inserted a zero font size line as a first line in the email that uh, basically sort of seemed to indicate that this email was scanned by some advanced threat protection. So this first line indicating that it was scanned by some kind of a security gateway is using a font size of zero. It's only visible in that uh, preview list so that ignores the font size. It's not visible in the actual email where you are then just seeing the phishing email sort of as intended, which uh, claims to be, well, uh, some kind of HR recruitment supervisor trying to impersonate, well, Internet Storm Center, uh, but they got a little detail here also wrong because we do use isc.sans.edu. They sort of added an additional www in front of it, uh, which uh, pretty obvious is fake. And well, then we also don't have HR here at the Internet Storm Center, which also kind of gives this away as a pretty obvious fish. But neat little trick and definitely something to be aware of. Um, Not sure if it wouldn't be just easier to essentially just look for font size zero in emails and filter based on that. I doubt a font size zero is used much in legitimate emails. And Apple today did its big annual release of the next major version of Mac OS. Mac OS Sonoma or version 14 was released. Now, I don't really want to talk much about the features. Lots of other people have done that. But of course, what I'm interested in is the security content of this release. I noted, uh, I think it was last week, that we got updates like for iOS and such, and the security details of these updates were withheld. Well, part of it was likely this upcoming release here of macOS Sonoma, which does fix a number of vulnerabilities that were also addressed in these updates to other operating systems. With all of the details being available now, I published our usual table comparing the different updates. I did include the updates from a few days ago in this table. So it's not just what we got today. Today, we really only got macOS Sonoma. I think there was also a release of Safari 17, which was released after I published the table. I may actually rerun this and then publish sort of an updated version of this. There are a bit over 60 different vulnerabilities being addressed here. Some of these vulnerabilities have already been known, like you know, some of these Saturday vulnerabilities being recently patched are being addressed, of course, here with uh, this release of uh, Mac OS. We also uh, do have a number of approach escalation flaws and such, but uh, no new already exploited vulnerabilities as far as I can see here from uh, the uh, release that came out today. 
As far as patching goes, you typically don't gain a huge like a security improvement from uh, these uh, major updates. All of uh, the security patches, security fixes uh, being included in this release should already have been released for the older version of macOS. And if not, there will likely be another update for the older version of macOS this week or next week. So you can apply that if you aren't brave enough to just jump uh, to the new release of macOS, which of course you know, always has a potential of breaking things. At this point, the only thing I sort of have seen that has issues with macOS Sonoma is the GPG mail plugin. The new version of mail coming with macOS Sonoma does no longer support plugins. And of course, this plugin support is required by GPG mail. Not sure if they have anything in the works here. Uh, if you are using mail, uh, the and that's the built-in macOS mail client uh, with a uh, GPG or GPG. So we'll see what will happen with this in the future. Other mail clients that have their own sort of uh, GPG or PGP implementation, like for example, Thunderbird should still work. As usual, have a good backup before you upgrade. Well, and this is it uh, for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.